Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle, the Real Life Carnivore. Really excited to have you guys back here. If you would be willing to like this video and subscribe to my channel, it helps with the algorithm to get more views on these posts and these videos. Today, I'm going to be sharing my top five tips for preparing your body for a carnivore pregnancy. I hope that you guys find these valuable, so let's dive in. Tip number one, when preparing your body for pregnancy, it is very important to make sure that you get your body as nourished as possible. So my first tip is to eat to nourish. It is really easy to under eat on a carnivore way of eating on a meat based lifestyle because the food is so nutrient dense. And because eating too little can be so common on carnivore, it might be an option for you to consider tracking for a period of time in say my fitness pal or carb manager, just to make sure that you're eating enough. Tip number two. Consider consuming organ meats. Organ meats are like nature's vitamins. They are jam-packed with nutrients, higher in nutrients than basically anything else out there. You can't get a better vitamin, just saying. That is my humble opinion. But I love organ meats. I would recommend small amounts of them over a period of time just to build up your nutrient stores, especially with things like vitamin A, which apparently is demonized with being pregnant. But vitamin A is very important because it actually helps with the formation of the pellet. So as the fetus is developing, I'm going to get off into a little tangent here so you can skip ahead if you want. But as the fetus is developing, it goes through little steps and it's like, this is the first thing it builds. And then after that's built, then it moves on to this. And then after that's built, it moves on to this. And according to Dr. Stephen Lynn's book, The Dental Diet, the body gets to the certain place where it needs to develop the palate. And if it doesn't have sufficient vitamin A, then it will only build what it's able to build with the amount of vitamin A that the body has. And then it has to move on. It can't just stall out and not finish building the baby. It has to continue to build the baby and continue to do all of its synth synthesis processes. So I would encourage you to consider organ meats. Number three, this is probably a no brainer, but getting enough rest. This one is really hard for some of us. If you're a busy mom already, if you have a full-time job running around all over the place, chasing little ones around, it can be a lot. So getting enough rest, prioritizing your rest can be really challenging. I would say rest can look like not just trying to sleep at night or get enough sleep at night, but it can also look like sitting down and putting your feet up for five to 10 minutes. Even if that feels impossible, if you're able to do it for one minute, there's always one minute in your day where you could park your keister and just sit and just rest and relax. I think that that's really helpful. It helps to regulate our nervous system. It helps to balance things in our brain and just our chemistry. Uh, there are lots of benefits to resting. And it's also when our body does the most recovery and healing, particularly at night. Number four, listen to your body's cues. Your body communicates with you in all kinds of ways. If you're having certain symptoms like anxiety or depression or uh, feeling the roller coaster of emotions, or if you're feeling hungry, or if you're feeling tired, your body is communicating with you. It's letting you know what its needs are. Listening to those needs and addressing those needs is definitely something that we want to prioritize, especially as we're pre preparing our body for a healthy pregnancy. So if you're hungry, eat. If you're thirsty, drink. If you're tired, have a nap, rest, take a breather. Uh, I know these things sound really silly to some of you, but they're really, really important and very helpful for getting your body healthy and prepared for a pregnancy whenever possible. And tip number five, probably my favorite tip, probably the one that you're going to be like, ooh, tip number five, eat the fat, eat enough fat. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. Saturated animal fats are the precursors for your hormones in your body. Saturated animal fats are the building blocks for the hormones in your body, and they are necessary building blocks for healthy hormones in your body. You will feel very different when your hormones are balanced and in check than when they're out of whack. So if you've ever had PMS, if you've ever had mood swings, if you've ever had anxiety or depression, a lot of these things can be hormonally related. So eating enough saturated animal fat can be 
really helpful for nourishing your body and also accessing all those fat soluble vitamins that are also necessary for replenishing our stores. Because when you do decide to get pregnant, or if you have been pregnant previously and are considering a carnivore pregnancy, we want to make sure all your nutrient stores are replenished. So that way you're not starting from a half empty cup. That way you can begin from a full cup. So these are my top five tips for considering a carnivore pregnancy and for preparation for a carnivore pregnancy. Let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful for you, what you guys want to hear more of, and let me know where you're tuning in from. I always love reading where you guys are watching my videos from. So have a blessed rest of your day. And this is Rochelle, the Real Life Carnivore, signing out. Bye for now.